Hello, what's up YouTube? In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can easily remove blemishes from your portraits in Photoshop. Remember, blemish removal is going to contribute over 70% to your overall skin retouching. And if at all you forget or leave out those blemishes, people are going to look at you and judge you as a careless retoucher. So in this tutorial, I want to show you all the basic tools that you can use to remove blemishes and also the advantages or disadvantages of using a specific tool to remove blemishes in Photoshop. And remember, a given tool does not work alone when you're trying to remove blemishes because when you tend to use that given tool or one tool to remove blemishes, it may not work for you in specific cases or in particular instances when you're doing the blemish removal process in Photoshop. So if at all you haven't hit the like button on this video, make sure that you hit the like button so that YouTube can push or recommend this video to more people out there who are interested in learning about this very technique and also skin retouching and photography in general. Hoping you have hit the like button on this video, let's just kick in and we start learning about how to remove blemishes and how to do it the best way in Photoshop. So this is going to be like a complete guide to blemish removal and I just hope you benefit from this tutorial. So usually we tend to remove blemishes before or after doing skin retouching. So personally, I tend to do it after, but if I told you a, a kind of person that does it before, this very first case or case study is for you. So usually when you are removing blemishes, we tend to first of all create a new blank layer. Just come here and create a new blank layer. So in order to remove blemishes, we have different tools and for this case I'm just going to be covering the spot healing brush tool, the healing brush tool, the patch tool and also the clone stamp tool. So for the first case we have the clone stamp tool. So this is rather for the first case we have the spot healing brush tool. So under the spot healing brush tool when you select it we have the hardness option and we also have these other options right here and we have sample all layers so we'll, every single time you're removing blemishes just come and make sure your hardness is not all the way up because let me show you the instance right here so just you can see we have sample all layers option so remember we have selected our tool which is the spot healing brush tool and we have a new blank layer so if i told you have a new blank layer remember we only want to apply the removed spots or our effect on this new blank layer but remember this layer has no information embedded in it so just come to the sample layers option and remember when you sample all layers it means you're going to be borrowing information from the background layer and also working on this new layer or layer one or we can rename it to our blemishes layer just like that so just come in now check this option meaning it is going to be borrowing information from this area and also working with our blemishes layer hand, hand in hand so after getting our spot healing brush tool and remember the hardness is set all the way to 100 but in some cases this may not work best for you because when we come right here and the hardness is all the way up and we tend to remove that remember we have removed some blemishes from this area you can see, let me try to zoom in for you. You can see that it creates that kind of hard kind of feel on the area it has eliminated the blemishes from. So, meaning the spot healing brush tool is very hard and that is going to be affecting on the area that you're trying to eliminate the spot from. So, you can see where I've just removed the blemishes from. We have that kind of rough circle created all around. So if at all your spot healing brush tool is showing otherwise and it is not showing this circular icon, just make sure you turn off the caps lock key because when you leave it on, it means that the spot healing brush tool is going to appear like a cross-like icon in your Photoshop. So always make sure that you turn off the, ca the caps lock key. So that is not the best way to do or use the spot healing brush tool. So the best way you can tend to use your spot healing brush tool is I'm just going to come back to my history panel and I'm going to come right here to 
the spot healing brush tool and undo all that i'm just going to come back one step so i'm going to rename my layer so the best way is simply coming and you slightly turn down the hardness so i could go with the hardness of around 50 percent so as you're using the spot healing brush tool make sure it is slightly bigger than the blemish you're trying to get rid of so make sure you reduce it and make sure it is slightly bigger than the blemish you're trying to remove so that when you click it makes or it helps you eliminate that quite well or quite better and doesn't leave that kind of rough roughness around the blemish so that is the spot healing brush tool and make sure every time you're using it content aware is selected and the mode is also in normal so that is the spotting brush tool so it also has its disadvantages when you're trying to use it to clean up or remove blemishes from your images so let's look at a second tool which is the healing brush tool and the healing brush tool remember when we're using the spot healing brush tool in the first instance that we looked at it tends to automatically sample and replace photoshop does it by itself and it replaces that area or that blemish with any part of the skin from the image so it just randomly selects and pastes a cleaner skin or an area it thinks is cleaner on that blemish in order to replace it and make it look clean but if i told you select the healing brush tool the healing brush tool you have to do it by yourself to sample in replace that blemish so we have selected the healing brush tool make sure the source is sampled and the mod is normal and right here make sure use legacy is not checked and also the aligned option i don't prefer to leave the aligned option on so make sure that these two options are not checked so sample make sure you sample current and below all because when you sample current and it means you're going to be also borrowing information from the bottom most layer and also when you sample all layers it means you only have two layers and it is also going to be acting uh, the same way but when you sample only a current layer it means this layer has no information and it is not going to be effective for you as you're trying to clean up different areas of your image so make sure you use these options current and blow all all layers so i'm just going to use all layers and how this works remember you have to increase or decrease on the size of your healing brush tool by using the open and close brackets on the keyboard so how this works you have to come and hold down the alternate key on the keyboard just close to the blemish so you hold down the alternate key on the keyboard on a clean area so make sure you hold down alternate on a clean area that is close to a blemish so when you, when you hold it down simply left click on that clean area to copy it so alternate and left click to copy and simply move you can see it has copied that kind of pattern and move it over the blemish and click to paste so we are simply copying and pasting manually on those various areas to get rid of the blemishes from specific areas of the image so that is how this is going to be working as you're trying to remove blemishes from various areas of your photos in just photoshop so you hold down alternate close to a blemish alternate left click on a clean area close to the blemish and simply left click to uh, get rid of that blemish so that is how the spot healing brush tool works and then we also have the patch tool so how the patch tool works basically we have to look at the image and remember the patch tool based or best works with a a layer that has information in it so usually i would recommend when using a patch tool just come and make sure you create a stamp visible layer. remember if i told you i've been doing skin retouching just come and hold down shift alternate command e on the keyboard or shift alternate control e on the keyboard and how this works you have to make sure it is normal and make sure right here the very new selection is checked or selected or highlighted and now make sure source and destination are also active 
Uh, now how this works, you draw over the blemish just like that. So you left click and draw over the blemish and move that blemish to a clean area to get it or have it replaced. So this basically works best or it is a more convenient way and doesn't leave those kind of artifacts every single time you're trying to clean up the image. So you draw around the blemish and move that blemish to a clean area to replace that blemish with a cleaner area of the skin. For example, if I told I'm to work on this kind of area, I have to draw, I left click and I hold down my cursor or my click and draw around that blemish and simply move it to an area I think is better to replace that blemish. So that is how our patch tool works when you're trying to clean up or remove blemishes from the image every single time you're doing skin retouching in Photoshop. You can see the before and after and it doesn't leave those ugly outlines when you're trying to clean up or remove blemishes. So that is our patch tool for you. So lastly we have the clone stamp tool and how the clone stamp tool works basically when you select it it has the option that says hardness so usually when I'm working with the clone stamp tool I prefer hardness to be uh, below 50 but I prefer around 40 the mode I prefer normal opacity and the flow at 100% I make sure aligned is selected and sample remember we have I'm just going to delete this because that was for a patch tool. For the sample, I usually prefer, if at all you don't have any information or a layer that doesn't have information in it, like we have a blank layer right here, always make sure the sample is current and blow all, all layers because we need information to work with. And since this is a blank layer, we are going to be using these two options right below. And for this case, I'm just going to be using current and blow. And how this works, this works like the healing brush tool and how it works you have to simply click hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and left click close the blemish and simply click over the blemish to eliminate it so that is how this works hold down the alternate click on a clean area close the blemish and release both the alternate and the left click button and simply left click over the blemish to I get rid of it. So that is how this tool works when you're trying to clean up this. But I would recommend that every single time you're using this uh, clone stamp tool to clean up or remove blemishes from the image, I would recommend, or for whichever tool, I would recommend that you first of all play your frequency passion action. This is where I will have to show you this technique. I'm just going to delete that. So when I come and I play my frequency separation action and I just take it, I'm just going to leave, leave, use the radius of 8 and hit OK. When I use this, it means when it is time to remove these blemishes, I have to come to my high frequency layer. And when I come and select my clone stamp tool right here and I leave everything the way it was meant to be, but when using uh, the action of frequency separation always make sure align is selected but for sampling only select current layer so when you select current layer it means you're only going to be working with the texture or the detail layer in the frequency separation meaning this layer has information already that's why you have been able to select the current layer option and you have to zoom in right here and now you can work with the textures alone so just come in alternate left click and release both alternate and left click and click over the blemish to get rid of the blemish you can see that this really works well and nicer because we are already working with the layer that only has uh, textures and it doesn't have color in it so it is very easy to remove blemishes this way other than having to use it uh, when we don't have the layers separated between the colors and the textures in Photoshop. So basically, this is how to remove blemishes in Photoshop. And if at all you have learned something new from this story, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe. If at all you have been watching and haven't subscribed this channel, I am Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.